Hey everyone, so I'm in my kitchen and I am making quiche. I have the oven ready. I have my spinach and onion, diced onion and roasted red peppers all ready to go. I have five eggs that I scrambled and added some salt and pepper. Now I'm just going to crumble my feta cheese because this is what I want to use. I make this all the time. I'm going to use um, my stoneware pie plate and this is my kitchen spritzer. So this I can put anything in that I want, whatever oil I want. When it doesn't spray anymore, that's when you need to, you need to wash it. Basically, when you empty it, you should rinse it and then refill it. It just will work much better for you. And spray it all over. And there you go. So you can tell mine is ready to have a little bath. So that's a kitchen spritzer now. It's opened. I released all the pressure and I am ready to put it back in the cupboard. And this is the thing that I make all the time because I just love quiche and I'm gonna crumble my feta cheese into my egg and then I'm gonna add in my mixture of my sauteed onion. I added avocado oil into the cast iron pan. I added diced onion, roasted red peppers, and I have some spinach that I froze. It was fresh spinach that I froze. I separated, put it in some baggies, take it out and I take out as much as I want put it in the pan, I make my little mixture. I don't really like it heavy on the spinach, so I try to control as much what I put in. So you can put in whatever that you like. And this recipe was just one that I found and it's called for Munster cheese and I don't, I like feta, so feta is great for me. So there's my mixture. And then I simply just am gonna spoon in this. I'm gonna mix it together and then into the pan, the pie, stoneware pie plate it's going to go and then into the oven for 30 minutes and then it's going to cool for 10 minutes while I drool cool and drool and then I'm going to eat it so I will post a picture of what it looks like when it comes out of course and into the pan it's going to go and then I just typically will make sure that we've got a little bit of everything everywhere so I don't want cheese all in one spot. So I just kind of mix it around. And the good thing about the stoneware is that it will just bake right off of this piece. So into the oven, it's gonna go. I'll check back in a few minutes.